Okay guys, been a while, back with it now. The weather outside is terrible. It's a little bit rainy. Yesterday we invested in something really, really good. Now, I've had drones before, cheaper drones, but we have the Phantom Free Advanced. I spent yesterday night trying to set it up. It took a while because it kept on needing firmware updates. They're all sorted now. Seems like we're ready. It advises not to fly in the rain, which I'm not going to particularly. So I'm going to travel to a certain place and hopefully wait for it to stop raining. Get some footage from there. But I'm itching, I'm itching to get that up in the air. I used to have a Walkira brand beforehand and just the difference between them already. I've literally just lived, just took off inside the house and it just hovered and stayed exactly where it should have. Um, the old brand I had took off, went all over the place. It just, nah. You can see why these things are so, so hyped up, so overly priced as well. Mm, actually, no, I'll scratch that. Not so overly priced worth the money. They're definitely built for this particular thing and uh, yeah, oh, I just can't wait. Right, so let's go. Let's go find somewhere where it's dry. Okay, so I'm waiting at my destination. It's still raining a bit. Not majorly loads. I mean, if you look at the screen, look. Don't know. It doesn't really. I've got it ready though. It's there, waiting for me. It's just saying, fly me, fly me. <laughs> How sad, huh? I'll see if I can find any of that other drone footage that I used to have. It wasn't very good. Oh, in fact, actually, go back to flying, flying a dro drone at Seal Beach episode, because that's, uh, yeah, that was my old drone. Wasn't great. Bad camera footage. Lots and lots of noise. And it scared half the seals away back into the sea as well. Oh my god. Okay, okay, oh yeah, I Still raining. Found a bit of a problem as well. I was going to put the GoPro on my head and keep visual for you guys as I uh, take the drone up in the air. I forgot the pin to secure it into the mount with. So, don't really want to hold the camera in my mouth. Me and Rebecca are off to Dubai tomorrow uh, at 3 in the morning. Uh, I can't take it with me, and it's just going to be sitting in the house. I've not even tried it once though, that's the problem. It seems like the rain's easing up though. We could be in for it, we could be in for it.
That's the place I took it off from was directly here. <laughs> it's got low battery one anyway, so it's most probably a good time though. It's like half and half, it's like visibility, battery, the status of the GPS and everything. If it was Didn't even touch that. <laughs> well DJI, you have my approval and it is so worth paying that money. So, so worth paying that money. I had a crowd behind me, which, you know, first time I ever flown that thing. The auto takeoff, perfect. Return to home, spot on. I had about 20 GPS uh, satellites around me, so signal was absolutely great. I took it pretty far away from where I was, and I didn't even lose one bit of signal. Not even a flicker. So, you know, between the Phantom 3 4K, which is cheaper, or the Phantom Advanced, which has light bridge and everything else, Pay the extra money, trust me, you will not be disappointed. This is not a paid endorsement either. I'm not getting paid to say any of this. But anyone who's even thinking of getting one of these Phantoms, Phantom has advanced upwards. You know, if you've got the money, go for the four. You know, lucky you. But, I don't. And that is a great camera. I can't wait to play around with it more. Anyway, I'm out. See ya.